Alright, today on Repairs 101, I thought I'd like to try and tackle a request that I got from a viewer a while back. She wanted to know about replacing the drive belt in her clothes dryer. So, I've recently bought a new one, and uh, we'll take a look at my old one before I take it to the recycling center. Be sure and turn off the power, and then pull out the plug. So I won't be doing this demonstration on my new machine because it's still under warranty. But I have purposefully held on to the old machine that was here in the house when I moved in with the express purpose of using it as a demonstrator for this video. Now if I was going to demonstrate on this machine, I'd show you that the first thing you need to do clean your lint trap before you have guests over. Okay, if I was going to do a demonstration on this machine, the first thing I'd show you is that you want to remove your lint trap and you'll see Let's bring in, and you'll see there's these two screws here that you're going to remove to se separate the lid here from the lint trap tunnel. Okay, you can see the lit lint trap tunnel right there. And you just need to remove these two screws so that the lid will pop off. And this is the most common style. You just need to work a screwdriver in under the ledge here. Sometimes there's a notch. You just want to get down on your hands and knees and have a look. And there might be a notch in here somewhere where you can just dig in and undo a release, pop it off, and I'll show you how it's done on the older machine. It's uh, very similar, but a little different. This one's got the lint basket out front, so that's not a problem. You don't have to worry about that. But you will find that there are screws here and here holding the lid down uh, in place of those other two that were connected to lint trap tunnel. The drum is supported on this piece that is the front, the face of it. So we just need to undo this a screw right here, and a screw right here. And if you're worried about the wires, you can just you know, pull them back out of your way like that. You can see, the, uh, of course, the dust that's collected inside the machine over the years. And you can imagine someone with long hair is going to suck air off the floor and blow it out through the exhaust. So it's a type of, it's like a vacuum as well, right? It's like a, a vacuum cleaner. So it's sucking up whatever debris it can off of the floor. And you can see in this case a lot of dust. So if you have long hair and, or a lot of pets, you're going to be doing this job a lot more often. You can see it's just ready to come off all by itself. Okay, now with those two screws out, you're ready to pull the front end forward. Okay. Now you can disconnect these wires if you want to. Okay, we got the belt here. Whether you're fishing it off or fishing it on, you know, you just gotta get around that little roller there. Again, a little roller on this side. And out it comes. Put it right back on again because there's nothing wrong with this one. And also, as I mentioned, uh, this unit's going to the recycling center right after I'm finished filming this video. So I'm just gonna lay it on top, reach underneath here, and pass it, pass that roller. And I'm going to pass the side over here, pass that roller again. And then I'm going to work it towards the back. I can see here there's a stripe where it used to run. So that's what I'm going to want it to run on. Now all I have to do is go underneath and hook it over the drive motor and the tensioner. And uh, slap a few things back together and I'm done. So there's the back of the old dryer. Go on down to the bottom of it and get ourselves in here after I clean it up a little bit. Yoosh. So the first thing we discover is what a horrible mess it is inside. Anyway, so I'm just going to clean this up real quick with my shop vac. Keep in mind the power is off and unplugged. Now we can see what we're doing. Okay, so straight up you can see this is the tensioning device right here. I've seen some that are spring-loaded. This one is a spring in, in itself uh, by its nature. And you can see the very base of it is tied into this little tab right here that's holding it in place. This is simply a very springy piece of uh, steel rod. And so you just pull on it like that. To... 
I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. Let's try zooming in a little bit. Put it over the uh, end of the drive shaft of the motor, and then you want to pull the tensioning device beyond it to push up on it. Let's see if I can do that safely and easily. And of course, you don't want to twist the belt while you're doing that. So we'll try that again. I'll just pull the the wheel on the tensioner towards myself, and then up like that. Now, again, you want to make sure that it's not there. We go. That it's not twisted at all. That it rolls pro properly. So here we'll show you. Okay, so that goes on there like that, and that just goes on there like that. And it should roll nice. There we go. There you go. Now, Plug it in first and then turn on the power.